the buzz. That's right. So we've got a very hot topic that's going to be we're going to be talking about today, and that it's been all over the internet and talk shows. Yeah. So joining us now are Katie Cockrell, who's here, associate vice president of Finn Partners, a public relations company. Blaine Fowler, host of the Blaine Fowler Morning Show on 96.3 WDVD, and Jason Hall, who's co-founder of Slow Roll Detroit uh, and Detroit Bike City. Good to see you all. Good, Good morning. morning. Good to see you too. Hello, folks. Hi. So you, you know, we're going to talk about kids at work today. So this debate has been big time sparked by something that happened with yeah. Chicago, the, what, the Chicago White Sox organization, right? So Adam LaRoche suddenly retired after the organization said that he couldn't bring his son into the locker room anymore. So apparently, he says, allegedly, supposedly, there was an agreement that he could be there when he signed <coughs> with the team, meaning his son could mm -hmm, hang around. Mm -hmm. um, the team says, and this is allegedly, supposedly, too, because <laughs> it says that it's become a distraction. You but sound then like a been, lawyer in the news. I know, yeah. right? I'm trying to not get us in trouble. Yeah. But a bunch of the players have since come out and say, hey, we didn't say that. So should his son be allowed in the clubhouse? Well, here's the thing. The White Sox gave the kid a locker. They gave him a, a jersey. Right. <laughs> they were calling him, him the 26 man on the team. <laughs> yeah, and then they're like, okay. But here's the other thing, though. He was asked to step it back, not entirely shut yeah. it down. So okay. he could still have brought his son to, let's say, half the games. Yeah. Yeah. So I think they're both wrong. I think the, yeah. the team is wrong because you set precedent here and then you wanted to change it. And then mm -hmm. the player is like, well, if I can't have my way, I'm taking my ball and going home. Yeah, I thought that was extreme. Yeah, yeah. really. That's left 13 extreme. million it's on the so, table. So entitled. That's, that's yeah. the craziest, yeah. you know? that's the craziest like, thing I've ever heard, yeah. actually. I don't even know how to even respond to that. Right? Yeah. Right. Right. Like, right. Would you yeah. walk from 13 million? That, are you kidding me? For your kids? I mean, we love our kids. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to the no. Because so, I can't bring my kid to school. To work oh. with you? Yeah. And any time, even I'm like, I gotta any go make your college money. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. On, I'll be back. And you know, like they'll have take your daughter to work day. And when my right. daughter was younger, I would bring her into the radio station and it would screw me up the whole day because I'd be distracted because mm. Bailey's in the other room or she's in the studio with us and I can't concentrate on what yeah. I'm doing. Yeah. It's hard to do to Tuesday mm. when your kid's sitting right there. Right. I wonder <laughs> if that kid's taking heat from other kids. You know, like uh, they're like, you know, if they're like, you know, you're a spoiled kid, you know, so your dad quits his job. You know what I mean? Like, is he getting right. heat from other kids? And did he really retire, retire? You don't think some other team Free could take him up? Uh -huh. you know. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think he'll probably, I, although I don't know, now he's made himself such a right. kind of yeah, international dude. scandal. I don't know that any other team is going to want to, like, When I first that. heard this story, I thought to myself, baseball players are kids that never <laughs> seem to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> so in the dad's mind, maybe this is just, well, I'm he's just bringing the another buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. right. Yeah. This is mind-boggling to me, why you'd want to take a kid to a professional practice area. Yeah. Because it seems like it would be a lot more raw. And a lot more, yeah. you know, right. stuff going on there well, that yeah. you might not want to expose mm -hmm. a child the to. The stuff that's got to go on in you know? MLB clubhouse. That's you know what, what I, I mean? was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. A little language yeah. you might not want yeah. your kid to yeah. be yeah. exposed to. So you talked about a radio station, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, TV, like radio, ball baseball, ball. it's a little different than the <laughs> average plant right. for Ford. Yeah. But even so, every one of those places, you could have language, you could have mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. something dangerous. But what about a, a typical workplace? Is this any different? I just think it's not it's not appropriate for a workplace. We're here yeah, to work. We're I not agree. here to it's a distraction. You know right. what I mean? I love my kids. So the minute she's there, I'm looking at her. You're different. Not doing yeah. what I need to be doing, you yeah. know? So no. Right. So do you think that employers do enough to help people with kids? Kind of take the like, listen, kids get sick. Something happens at school. I got to come and get you. I think generally, I mean, again, I'm in radio, so it it doesn't count. But I think Generally, from my friends who have normal jobs, mm -hmm. it sounds like they get, you know. It can be a challenge. They, no, that they, get, they get the help. opportunity to, to, you know, when their kid's sick, like you said, mm -hmm. if you got to miss work that day because yeah. you got a sick kid or something. It's, it's hard, but I think generally yeah, they're I mean, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I think so. I think workplaces are pretty flexible in my experience. Not that I have kids that right. I need to tend to, <laughs> but uh, coworkers that, that do, I think, tend to have flexibility with that. Right. And I've managed yeah. people with, with kids, and I think I've been fairly flexible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, along with having cool foosball tables in the workplace and all right. this new yeah. stuff, right? A lot of places have put in daycares for that very yeah. reason. Mm -hmm. Or at least sponsor one down right. the hall right. so you can bring your kid. They can mm -hmm. do kid stuff. You can go to work. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great thing for people to do. I don't think it should be required of the workplace. Right. But I definitely think if you're an employer yeah. who can do something great like that for your employees, do it. But 
uh, that's where I get a little conservative on things. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. also, this kid was 14. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, he wasn't yeah. like yeah. five, right? Right. <laughs> right. But let's talk about something that comes up a lot. What about people who don't have kids? Yeah, you just Single people that. with no children yeah. or married couples that chose not to have children? Yeah. Are they picking up the slack? I was just going to say that. Mm. Do you ever feel like you've had to pick up the slack for us well, parents? Well, my colleagues might be watching. <laughs> <laughs> On the spot. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't. I think it's important to have, you know, kind of a diverse array of, of colleagues in a workplace. Right. You know, you, you want a mix of, you know, folks that are family-oriented right. and single, younger. My office tends to skew really young. I'm probably like the third oldest person in the place. So mm -hmm. uh, most of us, I think, are working around the clock anyway. Right. Um, but, I, but again, I mean, I think, you know, I, I don't know that, I, I can't speak across the board, but I've not felt it. Yeah. No, I don't think I've felt it, but I know no. a lot of people who have. Yeah. Felt like, you know, they're overlooked for vacations and priority is given to people who have mm -hmm. families or single parents or whatever. But I think, in my experience, it always balances out mm -hmm. somewhere. So. Yeah. And I think that distraction that Blaine talks about, you're always worried about your kid. Right. It'd be mm -hmm. like bringing your pet, and I'm not saying your kid and your pet are the same, right. but you're always <laughs> looking around like, right. what's going on? Right. And you're not right. being productive. Mm -hmm. You're just not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So it's All not right. so much about the kids. It's about you yeah. <laughs> and not, uh, be able to Get focus. Get your work done. There you right. go. And we just want to thank Jay because he left $13 million on the table to be part of our show <laughs> this yes, morning. So we yes, really wanted to thank you. We appreciate you. Know. Thank you. Those so shoes don't buy themselves. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Good to thank see you. you.